Trade is vital to the Australian economy. With our relatively small population, many businesses seek out export markets in order to expand their business. The Port of Melbourne is at the heart of the Victorian economy and the national supply chain. Around three million containers arrive and leave our port every year. We are the gateway for food and fibre and for heavy manufacturing and electronics. The Port of Melbourne moves around three million containers a year and those containers have a variety of cargo. We export to the world. China is our leading export market, followed by New Zealand, Japan, USA, Indonesia, South Korea, Taiwan and Thailand. But of course, with the current COVID epidemic, things have changed significantly. While the cheaper Aussie dollar has assisted some, overall, global unemployment has seen consumer markets hit the brakes on spending. And many Australian businesses have had to refocus on domestic operations. As we transition out of the current crisis, trade and access to overseas markets will be even more critical in ensuring Australian businesses and our economy get back on track. And that's why we've been very active in the past month, doing our best to ensure the supply lines are open and ready for a pickup in activity. The efficiency of our freight supply chain will be a key to this economic recovery. Port of Melbourne is working closely with port users to ensure goods are moving with minimal disruption during the COVID-19 crisis. The Port of Melbourne continues to operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And that's all to ensure that we continue the efficiency of the port and contribute to the national economy and our prosperity.